Hey guys, it's Coin Sniper Chris. Haven't done a coin video in a while. I guess I've been like y'all. When you get a package in, you just want to open it up right away. So I kind of been doing that. Uh, I got three packages that came in today. Um, one's from Plumber, which was cool to be in a Plumber auction. He doesn't he doesn't auction in a while, so it was cool to pick something up from Plumber. Uh, these other two, I can't remember what they are. <laughs> so I guess we'll start off with Plumber and his amazing taping. So let's see what I got from the septic, the septic sniper. I hope you all are doing well. I actually got woken up this morning by the landscapers real early, but then I fell back asleep and I slept too long. Kind of a, put a wrench in my plans that I wanted to do today, but sometimes your body just tells you what needs to be done. So picked this up and I was kind of funny because I, I know that um, Plumber, like me, loves ship coins slash rounds. But when he put this up, I was just like, wow. I was like, but he didn't know that much about the silver bug collection. I do, because you guys know I, I focus a lot on it on this on my channel. I, I love this collection. So these actually flip like this. I wanted to get another one of these. Where it says it's silver we trust. And it says hold it, own it. The silver buck collection has been one of my favorite collections um, as of late to collect. And I, from what I read, I think there's actually two more releases coming out. So I want to stay updated on when they come out. Now these do, since these are proofs, these do have the serial number on the edge. The only problem is, is, is it's really hard to show sometimes. So that says 02291. So that's 2291 out of 10,000. So I believe they made 10,000. I think it was 10,000 of these. That's not too bad. It's a decently low number. So, really love this proof. They come in proofs and BUs. I think they actually, what I they do antiques too. I stick to the proofs for the most part because I love the proofs. I got a couple BU ones for 2019, but that's cool. But I got that one. That's another one added to the Silver Bug collection. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I bought something else. I just can't remember what it was. You may not have streamed in a while, Plumber, but you're still really good at taping. Ooh, wee. What a surprise. Coin Sniper Chris with another Kookaburra. That he almost dropped. 2019. In the TEP. That's pretty cool. This might be my first Kookaburra in a TEP. I don't think I had one in a TEP before. I mean, I had them in those Littleton cases. By the way, I pulled the ones out of the TE out of the Littleton cases that I had. Um, from the coin show and they were spectacular like I don't think I'm ever ever putting them up for auction because they are just so beautiful let's see what's in here I always find it interesting when you order stuff from people like everybody has their own set way of packaging some are better than others some are worse than others like I just care if the stuff gets here safe. 
we'll just uh, see how I'm going to go about opening this. I don't know. Hope everybody's having a good week. Got past hump day, so tomorrow will be Friday. Unless, you know, we turn into a bizarro world where Friday will be missing. Ooh. I guess I am the Kookaburra King. These are more. I've actually had these in the past, but... They disappeared in auctions. So these are 20... These are 2017 kooks right there. With the shark privy. Oh, I, li I really like the shark privy one. So, two of those. Put those over there. Now in here, it says do not bend. It's like I ordered like photography work. All right, this one might be cool. I actually, uh, let's see. They packaged it really well. Let's see. I'm trying to do my best not to, one, cut myself, two, mess up the packages. Yeah, open care. Story of my life. I feel like I should be in a bubble. So check this out. This is, um, this probably won't go up for an auction because a bit of a pricey item. When I first started auctioning, I put one of these up, but it was a 2020. This is a 2022. From the A and D A show, it's got a koala privy mark. So I thought that was really cool. Shows you right there, A and D A from the Australian Numismatic Dealers Association, from April thirtieth to May first. Comes in the packaging. Tells you all the specifications. And they only admit to 2,000 of these. So that's pretty cool. So I got one. Not number one of 2,000, but one of 2,000. So there's the koala. And I really like the 2022 design. So one thing I like about kookaburras is like every single year... They're coming up with a new design. <clears throat> it's the same thing with the pandas. No. Oh, I have like the scissors stuck in my thumb. Well, wouldn't you know? The coin sniffer Chris likes to get too. I just realized I'm speaking in the third person. Now I like to get two of things. So. I got two of 2,000. <laughs> so the 2,000 made, I've got two of them. So. There are those. I picked these up. I put them on Instagram, but I didn't put them on here. Um, these are from New Way. And these are both 2022s. I really want to change out these capsules because they're kind of giving me, OCD, like, my driving my OCD crazy because they got, like, this crease. This is how they came. I'm more of a traditionalist, like, regular capsules. But this one's cool. It's got all the waves in the back. It almost looks like the background of the, the Beskers. This is Calico Jack 
four nines, fine. I would have gotten more of these, but there's only one in stock. It even says the Jolly Roger on there, which is pretty cool. In between, it's got the swords. Really nice detail. Really ref like the reflectives in the skull, of course, which is awesome. So I picked up Calico Jack, and I also picked up some more of these Welsh Dragons. I think they're out of stock now. Pick them up before they went out of stock. You know, these have a mintage of 15,000. And apparently, for the series, this is like, I think, from what I read, this is first in the series of stuff that they're going to be putting out with this. So, I definitely put one aside for me. I can tell you that much. I mean, look how this, the background almost looks like it's dragon scales in the background you just don't have enough time to, to get the detail on Instagram but look at that New E Island from New A Island just love love the detail on these The price on these is going to be, it's already insane for these, but once the next in the series comes out, forget it. These dragon coins, man, they're already expensive. I'll up their four nines, fine. I love this drag, dragon uh, tail, like curl, look at that. That's cool. So I picked up those. And, um,. Let me see if I could show you the kooks I got. How pretty they were once I took them out of the Littleton cases. They're very striking. So, um, all right. Start off with the 1996, which I think it's an awesome design because it's like in flight. camera won't even pick it up it's got like purple and pink toning bluish toning all around it it's just fantastic I'll get off there there we go there you can kind of see the toning oh man it's beautiful so I got that. And also in there was a 1990 first year. Look at the toning on that one. You can see it like tinting off the edges. And a 1991 love these young, these older mintages like towards like the first dates this they all these all these three that came out of those little tins amazing tonnage so these are definitely going to my personal collection because i like them far too much Along with the double dragons and man, I got some stuff I just gotta keep. It's just too too pretty. So just want to do a oh a, a quick video. I also got one of those. Oh, uh, well, some people like these. The I think the, the newest one in the series just came out. This is the last one that came out in the series. The wonders of the world. The Lighthouse of Alexandria. So I actually got it with the case and everything with the little tin. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. So I picked that up. Kind of been slacking with the videos lately. I feel bad. Just 
a bit too uh, impatient in opening myself. And I'm like, shoot, I totally should have done a video for that. But anyway, that's what I have for today. Hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button. So I keep bringing you foolish videos. I don't even have my, my sticker showing. Like, <laughs> I use so many stickers at the coin shop. I got to order more. So I got cooped up today. Tons of kooks. And I really, really like this koala pretty one. So that's it for me, guys. I will see you on the next one. I hope you all have a fabulous day, and I'll see you soon. Remember, keep on stacking that stack. I'll see you.